All right, so this Dell Inspiron 14 54 91 2 in 1 or Inspiron 14 5000 2 in 1 series was having an issue with uh, no audio after installing Windows uh, 11. So here you can see in the device manager. So if you're trying to get to that, start menu, device, oops, manager. Okay, you can see device manager there. And it opens this. You can see the multi multimedia audio controller. Also base system device. So I'll have to figure out what that one is. But let's try the audio one first. Okay, let's get rid of this. All right, so the way you do this, um, I went to Dell's website. Okay, dell.com. All right, then what you want to do is go to support, support home, and then in this box, you will enter your service tag number. Um, so it's on the bottom of the laptop. You'll have like a little barcode here. You'll type that in there, okay? And then once you do that, you see here, so I already have it because I typed it once. Once you do that and go, um, you'll see this. Then you'll go to drivers and downloads. You'll see this. Um, I'm going to say to let me manually find my drivers. Let me close this one. So you go to find drivers. Okay. And in here, change the operating system to what you need. Windows 11. If for some reason it doesn't have the Windows 11, you can try the Windows 10 drivers. But here you can see there's all these critical drivers that are needed. Okay. Um, so we're going to download all of them. Uh, but the main one that was missing is this real tech audio thing. Okay. Um, but let me go ahead and download the Intel Serial I.O. one. We'll download the Rapid Storage Technology one. Okay, we'll download the Intel UHD one. We'll install the Wi-Fi UWD driver. Sorry, I know I'm probably not showing everything on the screen, but you get the idea. We'll download this killer um, AX16XX and Intel. Uh, Dell update application and the Dell Inspiron BIOS update. So we'll download all these. Okay, looks like they all download pretty quick. So they're all downloaded now. We're going to close this and then we're going to go ahead and update. You can see we did all the updates here and it's still not working right. Uh, we don't have the audio and the base system driver. So we're going to do the Realtek high definition audio one first. Okay, so just double click that. It's loading. It's kind of slow. You can see sometimes it'll show the spinny circle. Come on, where are you? There you go. All right, install. So multimedia audio controller and base system device. So. Hopefully this one will fix the audio driver issue because there's no sound right now. We'll go to next. Okay, you can look at the device manager and it's probably gonna eventually, once that's done, it's gonna make this one disappear and it will turn into an audio driver, hopefully. Okay, you can see it's still installing. Okay, and it's doing something. Now you can see now it says Intel High Definition DSP instead. And hopefully once it finishes, it's gonna go completely, but we'll see. Okay, you're seeing it's showing a bunch of other extra drivers here because it's replacing the drivers with whatever it had earlier. Hopefully, there you go. Now it's saying Intel High Definition Audio. And Waves Audio Effects Components. And there we go, it's gone. Um, I'm gonna say no, I'll restart later, finish. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new folder for drivers here. New folder drivers. Because whoever wipes this out in the future, oh, what happened? Operations, okay, it's saying a restart's required, that's fine. So I'm gonna put that in the drivers folder. Because in the future, if somebody ever wiped out this computer, they should back up that folder. Okay, we'll click minimize that. So now we got the audio drivers, as you can see. Um, I do need to do one other thing here because I was disabling these um, ease of access stuff, and this one like Always has a talking scanning. thing. 
So I'll disable that. I can't disable that when the audio driver is not there. Right? We have this Waves Max audio driver thing. We'll install that as well. Um, this is for an application. Uh, this is an application. Uh, oh, never mind. That's an in-store app. So pff, we don't need that. But I'll throw it in there in case they want it. Okay. Then you got this Intel Serial I.O. driver. We're going to install that one. The base system one, it's either this one or the Intel Rapid Storage um, driver. So let's see. I think, yeah. Is that it? Finish. Nope, that wasn't it, but it did update something. So we're in the right direction. Okay, so most likely it's going to be this Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver. But let's see. It's best to update all these drivers, so either way, you probably want to install them. Is it going? What just happened? Where'd it go? Okay, it's just slow. So wait for this to go. Next. Accept. Next. 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 And let's have it install. Hopefully that's the one. If it's not, hopefully one of the other ones are, because there's not really many other drivers left that I can think of that would actually solve it. I don't think it's a graphics driver, so hopefully that's the one. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Stop it. There we go. Okay, hopefully after that finishes updating, this will go away and hopefully then we'll be good to go come on man this update's taking a while all right okay it's telling me to restart but i don't want to restart now so i'll just close this and nope that didn't solve the base driver issue so let's try the intel uhd graphics but it windows update already did a bunch of those so i doubt it's any of those there's not really much else is it this Dell? no that's not it that's just an updater huh i don't know what else it could be we only got these two these are audio i mean these are wi-fi adapters um what you can do well let's install this real quick you can right click the base system device go to properties go to details go to hardware IDs then you can right click that copy it and a lot of times uh, when you put this in a web browser okay well let's install this okay this is a graphics driver so it's gonna keep like flashing the screen on and off next okay I will install restart later Still no. Okay, let's try the wireless. But it shouldn't be a wireless because we're using the internet. Anyways, oops, install. I'm gonna paste the what we just copied into a search for Google. And you can see people are all complaining about that. DX tag fix missing driver. And then you can kind of see what other people said. And they said the chipset driver, but I didn't see a chipset driver there. So let's go ahead and finish with this. We might have to go to the Windows 10. So let's go to Dell. Okay. Then let's go to support, support home. Open up the laptop again. Hopefully it remembered. Where is it? There you go. So we'll go to this again. Drivers and downloads. We're probably going to have to use the Windows 10 versions of the drivers. Find driver. Oops, sorry. So I click the find drivers. Windows 10. And then let's go to category. Chipset. And if we're lucky, it's going to be one of these. We already did the serial I.O. We did that. So it might be the Intel Dynamic Tuning Driver. It might be the card driver. Um, but we're going to try the chipset driver one here because that's usually what it is. And I didn't see one in Windows 11, right? 
chipset. Oh wait, they do have it. Oops, I don't want the Windows 10 version then. Let's get the Windows 11 one. Overwrite it. Oh, actually the Windows 10 and Windows 11 one might be exactly the same. Um, so let's go ahead and install that. Oh, the other one finished, okay. Install the Intel chipset driver. Next, accept, install. Finish that one. And restart later. And there we go. All right, there we go. We got all those drivers. Um, but again, you can install these other ones just to be safe. So let's download the Intel Management Engine components. We'll install the Intel Dynamic Tuning driver. Uh, we'll install the memory card reader and the integrated sensor. Why not? All right. Let's just update the rest of those just to be safe. Oh, we already did that one. We'll get rid of that. Put that in there. Intel Management Engine driver. Let's install that. There's so many drivers that need to be installed on this. Kind of annoying. <clears throat> And this is the BIOS update. Okay, we got all of these left to install. And the Intel management one's taking forever. Okay, it popped up behind. Next, accept, next. Next. Okay, no, I don't want to restart now. Finish. Okay, Intel Management Engine, put that in there. Intel Dynamic, whatever thing, my blobber. Dynamic Tuning Driver. Install that. Oh man, so many drivers to install here manually. I don't know why, but Windows 10 never had this. Well, it does, but very rarely has this issue. Okay, there we go. Put that there. Memory card reader. I'm sure it's already installed, so we don't really need to worry. But if you want the drivers that were made for your computer, um, instead of like one that's just searched for made for the hardware, um, yeah, it's best to go through this because this way you get the drivers that are made for the entire hardware setup. So we got this integrated sensor solutions driver. We're going to do the BIOS one last because that one has to restart the computer to run. And you can tell drivers are updating because this thing keeps changing here so you can see. We'll restart later. And now the sensors are all screwed up until we restart, I think. Okay, we're going to do the killer Intel Bluetooth. I don't, does this one actually have that network adapter? It doesn't. So I don't think this driver is going to do anything because I don't think it has the card that this is for. But let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay said it's done and the last update before the BIOS update Dell update application this helps it keep Dell's actual drivers up to date assuming they keep updating it but I don't know all right next accept next install a longer video than I was expecting but uh, it's good to have all the right drivers we are going to restart and then make sure all these drivers are here okay done finish and the last one we got the BIOS update huh what is that okay here we go uh, firmware so current version 1.5.0 
1.0.3, 6. Point, okay, so it's going to update to 1.17.0 and embed a controller to 1.0.6 and the rest are the same. So let's update it. 40% battery life right now and it's plugged in charging. Okay, we're just going to have to keep waiting till this completes. It's taking a while. There we go. Let's restart the computer. Let me make sure none of these other, I don't know what this thing is for, um, but that's a failed thing. So let's close that. Okay. Oh, and the HD sensors are done. It's not showing triangles on them anymore. So I minimize that. We can close this and let's restart the computer and we should be good to go. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And obviously um, leave a comment if you don't know what's going on or you need help. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can help. These aren't my computers, they're customers' computers, but uh, uh, usually a lot of the times you just have to search uh, for your driver specific to your computer if these instructions don't work for you okay and depending on what you have if it's a uh, hp apple macbook <laughs> i mean macbook's different usually they find all the drivers because it's their own hardware um but if you have like anything else acer lenovo asus asus whatever you want to call it gateway all right alienware yeah, you have to go to those specific websites to find the drivers. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and make sure to let the firmware update finish. All right, bye.